Hey everybody, um, just wanted to show you what I got. I got a box. And in this box is a whole bunch of stuff that I bought this evening at um, the South Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware Hot Wheels Club. And um, got a lot of loose stuff, got some deals, and uh, just thought I would show it off. Okay, so um, <clears throat> just do this. In no particular order. Grave Digger Flag Series. Perfect. Perfect in the box. And this is an old one too. It's, uh, boy, it's hard to read this. Let me see if I can get the copyright date. This is copyright date, looks like 2009. But that's, I don't know if you can see that, or I'll check it out later, but that's, uh, that's fairly old. And it's got some wheat to it, okay? Have not seen these in the stores, okay? I um, already have one of these because the original one, one came out with uh, different wheels. This is the one that came out with the wheels that they're showing on the, uh, the, the package itself. Just a dollar. So the person I get that from, he just charges uh, a dollar. Um, somebody at the club was offering uh, blister pack cars. Um, and you buy six for five dollars. Well, five of them I use for racing, okay? But I'll show you those with the loose ones. So, Dragster. I used to really like this model, so I got other variations of this too. All right. From the Racing Metal series. Another dragster. All right. I kind of like this fuel altar too. It kind of looks like the moon eyes, but it's not. It's something else. I think that's dice. Okay. Bifocal two. Actually, got two of these. Uh, it was an alternate color, and this was a um, premier model for the 2000. Uh, hmm, what the heck number? 09. They called them premieres in 09. Okay, so. Dior with surfboards. See, tonight's racing, you had to have a metal base. So, bought two ramp trucks, the other one I raced. And this is the other one. I got another one of these. The Altered State. Okay. Dub City. 59 Cadillac Eldorado. All right. It's got a little trading card there with it, too. Get this stuff out of the way. You can kind of see that. What was cool was. I did not only get Hot Wheels, okay, let's pull out the, the ones I raced, because these were originally packaged. Uh, I raced that truck. I raced Catapult. The Lakester. Uh, 
heck else did I miss? Boy, I can't remember. Here was the uh, the other altered state that I did race, and then there was the bifocal two I erased, which is a different color from the one that package. Because that has a metal. Here it is. Go to the bottom of the box. Alright, so these I bought packaged, but I had to uh, <clears throat> took them out the race. Now, I bought 46 single cars, loose cars from a guy and uh, $20 for all 46. It's two for a dollar, would have come to $23, so he took uh, $3 off because I bought so many. But I think I got a, uh, some really uh, good stuff here. Uh, never had that color, sort of like a, a green 57 Chevy. Okay. I know I have this Ford Funny Car in the package, but um, why take it out when you can get a really good one loose? GTO. Uh, I think this might be a 66 or a 67 GTO. Uh, I can't tell. I can't see anything on the base. Okay. I've got this tuned version of the Dodge Daytona. Really good shape. Tuned version of the Pontiac GTO. And I'm going to hold the non Hot Wheels stuff until the end. Okay. I did get some matchbox and I want to do those separately. Right. There's a Maverick. It's actually a good color and design for a Maverick. I actually kind of like the Maverick body style. Um, I believe it was on a Mustang frame. I don't remember correctly. But I think it was a Mustang frame. Another Maverick. You know what? My fault. This is a Chevy SS. I apologize. This is a Chevrolet SS. I just noticed the SS symbol here. This is a Maverick. Uh, first glance, I think they looked uh, similar. Willie's funny car. 41 Willie's with the MSD Tampo. And uh, let's see here. It's got the Willie bar in the bottom, but I can't get it undone. You can see that. Shoebox. That's a body style that I like. That's a classic 50s body style. Some Monte Carlo with the Holly symbol on the side. There's a 69 Firebird. I might have had that shown loose with my Chevy Chevelle collection. I don't recall, but got another one. 
so if I did show it, got another one. Firebird Funny Car. Really good condition. Really good condition. Corvette. Earlier today I posted my Corvette um, video and I actually do have the treasure hunt version of this one here. Okay. Uh, Kit. Pontiac Firebird. And this is Kit from the TV show. This is a nice one. And this one looks like almost true to life. The IROC. This is an 85 Camaro IROC Z. I think this looks really good. Okay. Um, the copyright date on this is 2011. But I don't remember when these were first editions, but looking at this now, and in light of the uh, other video I did on the 50th anniversary of the Camaro and Hot Wheels, I think it was appropriate. Okay. There's another 80s Corvette. I don't think I had the Hot Wheels one in my uh, in my uh, container when I did that earlier. Okay, but this is a uh, halfway decent shape. '67 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck. what this is called but with the ultra hot wheels this has been around for a while um i think this originally came out in the 90s and i got it in a five pack so this may not be the only loose one i have but it's in really good shape now i don't know if this is necessarily a concept vehicle and one-off or if it's uh, a low production european uh ultra you know um hypercar or luxury uh, sports car, whatever. Sorry about that. Okay. This is a Mitsubishi Double Shots. Okay, with co-mold wheels. Co-mold, two parts. Okay, with those wheels. It's in really good condition. I've actually never seen this before, but this is a Hot Wheels. Mercury Cyclone. Cool 60s design, fastback. Uh, this is what they used to race in NASCAR back in the uh, late 60s. Backwoods bomb. It's missing the top cover of it, but eh, I don't care. The body's still in good shape, and it's based on a Dodge truck. Okay, but it had like a camper show body in the back. Okay. That came out in the last five years or so. Earlier today, I did the, uh, again, the Corvette. And this is one I did not have, and I actually like this color, and it's in really good shape. So, picked it up. 
Why not? It was uh, ultimately less than 50 cents. It's a Corvette C6 convertible. More Chevelles. 69 Chevelle. And the panel with the tilt engine. See these in uh, fuel altered racing, drag racing. This is the copyright date of 1983, but I tell you, these cars did not come out in 83. I believe this is the 65 Mustang, uh, metal body, metal base, okay, and um, that's why I picked them up there in good shape, because you just don't find metal body, metal base, except in the premium line anymore. Yeah, my sister's a Mustang fan, so I might give those to her. I'll see. Honda S2000 for those people who like JDM, Japanese domestic manufacturer. Mercedes S380 SEL. Yeah, it's a no kick emission. Metal body, metal base. Again, that's why I picked it up. I think this was known as the Copperhead, but this was a uh, um, a show car for uh, Chrysler. They designed it, but it was never put into production. Okay, metal body, metal base. This was the first edition car, I think, in 1990, between 1997 and 1999. That was a new first edition model. That's what they called them then. Okay, and that is it for the Hot Wheels. Now, for for the non Hot Wheels, this is a Matchbox um, Super Fast Rollomatic. It's missing, I think it would have like a line or something here. It would have like a clear plastic top. And there's a, that little nub right there on the wheels. These wheels are really cockeyed. They, they really got screwed up. Um, it would go around and it would cause this to turn. So as the car was moving or you were pushing it along, what was in the bed here would turn. But this is a uh, super fast Rollomatic. Okay. And it says Rollomatic on the bottom. And this was a Lesney edition. So this was made in England. Should have been made in England. Yes, yeah, it says made in England. Okay, so it's pretty old. Um, probably show okay in a case. But I do like some Matchbox for a variety. Uh, this is another Matchbox. I don't know if this was considered super fast or not, but this one was made in Macau, so it was the post Lesney period, but this is a Peugeot Quasar. Okay, never heard of it. It must be either a strictly European car or um, like a show car, but uh, licensed model. This is the Matchbox Corvette. It's a 1997 Corvette. Uh, it was made in China. And this is under the Mattel brand. Okay. The wheels look like PR, PR5s. The fill wire and then uh, five spokes. But that's a uh, that's Matchbox under Mattel. Okay, 
This is cool. Matchbox has been putting out these double decker buses since I don't know when. Easily 60 plus years. Okay. Um, I know this is all beat up right here. And the wheels are slightly cockeyed. And, okay. In the back. But this is a super fast Lesney model made in England. I had to pick it up. It's my second bus. I do have another one in my collection from when I was a kid. Alright, this is also a matchbox. This is from the, uh, more than likely the Mattel. Uh, period because it's a copyright date of 2006 and it is an Austin minivan so it's a mini there's a Corvette Stingray 2 matchbox this actually has real rider tires on it. And it looks like they say Goodyear on the sides. And I'm looking for a copyright date. It was made in Thailand. Copyright date's 1994. I don't know exactly when um, Mattel bought Matchbox. So this may or not be, may or may not be the um, <clears throat> under the Mattel license. Uh, Mattel product line for Matchbox, but it's uh, the scale of it is uh, kind of wacky. But uh, what the heck, you know, got real wider tires, you don't see it that much on Matchbox, you see it more on Hot Wheels and some other models. Here is another Matchbox, and this one's cool because this has a metal base. Um, I can't tell. This was made in China. And with this design, um, they did some wacky designs back in uh, uh, this, the 90s, I think, when they were owned by, I don't know if it was Tomy or um, some other company. Anyway. Uh, it's a Corvette. I think it's a 58 or a 59 Corvette. And uh, I like the wheels. Okay. But it's got a metal base, and you don't see that anymore in matchboxes. <clears throat> Here's another matchbox Corvette with another metal base. I'm pretty sure it's metal. Nope, my mistake. It is plastic. It is plastic. Chevrolet Corvette. I can't see a date. A little beat up, some nips, but halfway decent. And this one I really liked. This is a Ford pickup truck. Okay. Um, it's a 56 Ford pickup. I had several of these. Okay. Um, but with the blue color and the flames, I thought it really, really looked sharp. Okay. So. And I like the wheels on here. All right. Now, for non-Hot Wheels, non-Matchbox, this is a Racing Champions. And, uh, Anything that relates to Marvel Comics, I figure, is worth it. So this says Hulk on it. A, just notice there's the Hulk on the roof. So it says Hulk on the sides. And his big fist in the uh, back doors. And they got kind of cool wheels. Really kind of cool. Okay. This is another Ford pickup, and this is neat because it's got an opening hood. And 
it's got an engine in there which is pretty detailed. I don't know if you can all see that or not. And my finger's in the way. Uh, let me try this. I bought this for the money. You couldn't pass it up. And then it does have a plastic base, but it's got real rider tires. But I can't, I can't see a manufacturer's name. Um, looks like cast line with a trademark date of 2012 to 1956 Ford F100 pickup. So it's another 56 Ford. Okay. Compare that to Matchbox. And the Matchbox is also a 56 Ford pickup. So, yeah, the scale's a little bit different. But that black one is really sharp. Okay. Um, here's another one with a trademark date of 2012, Cast Line Incorporated, made in China to 1967 Nova. Real rider tires. Um, hood doesn't open on this, but, um, it's got like one or two small nicks on it, and I thought it was in really good shape. And then the last three that I found, these are all Johnny Lightnings. They're all based on the official pace car, the Corvette pace car. Okay, just same tempo, just three different colors, red, green, and purple, or magenta. They're all plastic wheels. But they all have metal bodies and metal bases. And it's based on a 1970. You can't read it because it's that small. Maybe a 1974 Corvette. But that's Johnny Lightning. Okay, and they're pretty cool, too. So I do have a Johnny Lightning collection. Um, in any event, um, that's what I picked up. I thought I got some pretty good deals and some nice stuff, and uh, just wanted to share it. All right, you all have a good evening. And if, uh, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, have any comments, questions, suggestions, please leave them down below. And uh, please subscribe. And uh, let me know if there's anything else uh, that you'd like to see. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. Bye.